Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Style Within Grace. My name's Amy and I am super excited for today's video. This week I'm going to be letting an app choose what I wear every day. The app that I'm talking about this time is called Starbook. I've been using this app for quite some time, but only fairly recently, in one of the latest updates, it came out with a new button. It doesn't really have a name, but the arrows kind of go like this. <laughs> um, and basically, you push this button, and then you select some categories of clothing, like tops, skirts, and flats, and it will give you about 10 options of outfits. I don't know what algorithm it uses, whether it takes into consideration colour or what I've worn together before or anything like that. It could be completely random. I have looked at some of the outfits it's put together before and it kind of seems like it might be random because they do not go together at all. I'm going to choose one of those 10 options to wear for the day. Having the options is nice because it gives me a little bit more hope that I won't be wearing something terrible, but I still don't have much control over what I'm going to be wearing. <laughs> so this could be very interesting and possibly embarrassing, <laughs> but I'm still very excited. So let's get into the first day. Good morning, everyone. It's Monday morning. This morning, Naomi has her swimming lesson. Um, and I don't typically get ready for the day until after we come back from that. So I'm currently in my swimsuit. So I'm figuring out what I'm going to wear for the day now while Naomi has her morning nap. So that I'll be all ready to get ready for the day when we get back. So let's see what Starbuck has in store for my first day. So it's a pretty comfy casual day today. I'm just going to be hanging around with Naomi, we've got a doctor's appointment, um, and then maybe I'll go to Kmart. So I'm thinking we'll just go some pants, uh, some kind of top, some flats, and some kind of outerwear piece. I am just one of those people that always gets cold at some point, so I need to have something ready for me, just in case. So let's shuffle that. There are a lot of options that don't really go together. <laughs> I think I'm going to go with the purple top and striped culottes. I think that's probably my best bet today. So this is what my outfit looks like at the moment. It's not too bad. I wouldn't typically pair the top with the pants just because they're both like a really loose fit. But having it tucked in a little bit, it's like not too bad. I mean, the colours go together. Um, and theoretically, stripes and leopard print go together as well. It's just not something that I would have typically paired. But it's not bad. It's okay. Like, not the best outfit, but it's okay. I'm not going to be too embarrassed or feel too awkward walking around in this today. So I have just been waiting for Naomi to wake up from her nap and she's actually just kept sleeping. So I've already watched two episodes of Chicago Fire and now I'm cleaning out my closet, it would seem. I think I'm going to have to go in soon and wake Naomi up because if she sleeps too much longer, she's going to struggle to go down at night for her bedtime at six. I'll take you with me as I go to wake Naomi up because she looks mighty cute when she's sleeping in her cot. <laughs> So Kmart isn't going to happen today, I'll try again tomorrow. It's too close to Naomi's bedtime, we only have 30 minutes until it's her dinner time. But the doctor got to see me in this outfit, and the chemist, and I even ran into some friends from church at Subway while I was getting lunch. Naomi's all bathed and ready for bed. Hey Naomi. Say hello. I'm going to be getting changed out of the outfit now into my 
pajamas. So I will see you tomorrow to see what our outfit Starbuck has in store for me then. Good morning everyone, it's Tuesday this morning and I'm still in my PJs. <laughs> um, I've just put Naomi down for her morning nap and so now I've got to figure out what I'm going to wear before I have my shower and get ready for the day. So today is another really casual stay at home and look after Naomi kind of day. I might go to the park for a play date and I definitely need to go to Kmart today because I didn't go yesterday. So I just need some really comfy casual outfit. So let's get into figuring out what that might be. Okay, I think I'm going to go with some jeans this time, some kind of top cardigan. For shoes I might grow some sneakers this time and just for some fun let's add some earrings in there. Alright let's shuffle. I can't really wear the wedge sneakers like they're some of my favorite outfits but I'm gonna be uncomfortable and I shouldn't have allowed long sleeve tops. I'm gonna be too hot in a lot of these outfits. Alright I think I'm going to go with the one with the lavender jeans, pink sneakers and navy top. Let's go with that one. So this is the base outfit so far. I feel a little bit colourful, but I don't think it's too bad because it's all kind of next to each other on the colour wheel. <laughs> Blue, purple and pink. The black fringe earrings, the singlet and the cardigan, I feel a little bit more work appropriate than the casual that I was going for, but it's not a bad look. <laughs> Again, it's not something that I would personally put together but I don't feel uncomfortable in it. I'm undecided as to whether I should tuck in the singlet or not, but I feel like that looks even more like worky and less casual and I'm trying to go for casual today. I think at least with the cardigan on, I like it out. What do you guys think of the outfit? We're down at the park to meet with a friend for a little play date for Naomi in the sand and in the playground. It's actually really nice and windy along the pier here, so. In the park, playing with Naomi today, in my Naomi, hello, you having fun? Naomi fell asleep on the way home, which means I'm pretty much trapped in my car until she wakes up because if I move her that's the end of her nap. I feel a little bit gypped because her nap time is the only time that I get free to do my own stuff and now I'm stuck in the car for it. <laughs> so I'm going to the drive through at McDonald's to get my lunch so at least I can eat lunch while I'm waiting in the car for her to wake up. <laughs> this is what a successful lunch looks like. Not too much of a mess. <laughs> Hello, and now to stuff all the nappies. Just finished in Kmart, returned a skirt and a dress that were too small and got a new dress instead. Bye Kmart, <laughs> thanks for your help. <sighs> I feel like these earrings look weird with my hair length. So it's the end of Tuesday, Naomi has had her bath and she's in her PJs ready for bed. Night night! You gonna say bye to everyone? So this is the time when I get into my pyjamas. So you can say goodbye to the fringe earrings which Naomi did pull. Other than that, the outfit has pretty much served me well for today. It was a little bit warm in the jeans, but that was my own fault for choosing jeans today. Even though it's not something I would pair together, it's, again, it's not awful. So yeah, see you guys tomorrow. <sighs> Good morning again. It's Wednesday morning this time, again in my pyjamas. Again, Naomi is down for a nap, so all good to get ready for the day. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, I have to go into work. My husband's parents look after Naomi, so I can afford to get a little bit more dressed up today. A dress and some heels and a blazer. And I'm not taking the diaper bag with me today, so I'm going to need a handbag. Let's see what Starbucks suggests for me today. Um, that's not bad. Outfit two, that is. Like, it's... <laughs> got a purple theme going on which is kind of which works pretty well 
because outfit three is like mint, red and purple. Outfit number two. It looks fairly put together. That sounds like a good outfit to me. We'll try that on. This is the base outfit so far. It's not awful, but like I just wouldn't pair this thicker choker with this dress. Like it's okay, and then again I wouldn't pair these shoes with this dress. It's just like none of the pieces clash, but they just don't quite work together either, I don't think. And here it is with the blazer. I just don't think this like shape of dress lends itself to having a blazer with it very well. I kind of look boxy. Like the print mix is not bad, but it just it doesn't go. Like I would not pair this this blazer with this dress. I mean, at least it pulls in the purple from the shoes. Um, and it looks super weird with the, <laughs> with the choker. I think this is probably my least favorite outfit it's given me that I've chosen <laughs> so far. So I'm walking into work in my little app chosen outfit. I know most people wouldn't think that this dress is really work appropriate, but my my work is pretty casual to begin with. All the other people in the apartment wear like jeans and a tee. So I'm allowed to get dressed up if I want, but I can dress casually as well. So it's really handy like that. And obviously because I, I work in a creative workplace, I have some creative freedoms with what I wear. All right. Up the staircase to my job. So I'm always the first one in, in my department. <laughs> Um, so I can do a quick bit of filming before I have to start my actual work for the day. Uh, but I'll show you where I work. Just my little dark corner. Yes, we sit in the dark all day. The last can go home. Talk about a boring graphics day. I didn't want to do any of them. <laughs> I don't know what that noise is. Um, I went through stages today of thinking the outfit was okay and then feeling uncomfortable in it again. And I think every time I felt uncomfortable was every time I saw a reflection of myself. When I like couldn't see a reflection, I'm like, oh yeah, it's all right. Then I saw a reflection of myself and I'm like, no, that's, something is off about it. <laughs> Nobody made any comments. Um, my mother-in-law did say that she liked my dress and my shoes when she came to pick Naomi up though. I don't know if it was about the outfit or just about the actual pieces by themselves. Suffice to say though, I probably won't be wearing this outfit again. So, on to tomorrow. Good morning lovely people, I'm back in my PJs again. Naomi is down for a nap, so let's figure out what we're gonna wear to work today. For today, I think I'm going to go with heels, a skirt, button-up top, a blazer, some kind of jewellery, and let's see how that goes. Let's shuffle that. I don't think a flannel shirt is appropriate for work, but let's keep scrolling there. That one's not bad either. Oh, I actually really like outfit 10. I think I'm going to go with outfit 10. I think that will be really cute actually. I'm kind of excited for this one. I think this is probably my favourite outfit that the app has selected for me so far. It's actually really cute. Oh my god, I love it. It is like so preppy cute. Like fashionable, cute, preppy. I don't know, I just love it. I love the print mix of the blazer tweed and the sequins. And the necklace just ties in so well. I perhaps would not choose this bag for this outfit, but I don't think it looks bad by any means. Like, this is really cute. I think Stylebook actually suggested something really cute that I wouldn't necessarily have put together, but I really love it. Walking back up to work again, and I'm finding the issue I'm having is that the skirt is not quite high-waisted enough to keep the shirt tucked in but if I do pull it up that high then it's like way too short uh, so it keeps coming untucked which is kind of annoying because like the hem of it is black so you can really tell when it sticks out it looks kind of strange but I'm still really digging this outfit I think it is really cool the bag looks better when I don't have the blazer on hi ho hi ho it's off to work I go see you 
tonight. There's the end of another day and I actually had a really good day because I got to do a fun little Christmas piece to camera graphic. I can't help but wonder if I had such a good day because I loved what I was wearing so much. I continue to have issues with the shirt um, untucking itself but all in all I really dig this outfit and I am definitely going to be wearing it again. So well done Starbook, you're not completely hopeless, you have one good outfit. Good morning, last day today. I was really happy with yesterday's outfit, so I'm really hoping that today will go off on a bang and it will be just as good, if not better. It's either going to be that or it's going to be the worst one yet at the biggest challenge. I am really hoping for the first. <laughs> but let's see what Starbuck has in store for me today. Heels again. Today I'm going to continue with a skirt. That seemed to work out well for me yesterday. A blazer, of course. Um, but this time I'll go with a singlet and the handbag, of course. Let's go earrings and another piece of jewelry. That's the most we've had yet, so let's shuffle that and see what we get. Okay, actually I don't mind that one. It's just got... The blue bag doesn't really go. Oh, that one has the blue bag as well. I just, I don't think that blue bag really goes with much in my wardrobe. That one's okay. Okay, I think I'm going to go with that one. It's the best outfit. It just has the blue bag, which I'll mostly be putting down anyway. So, let's see what that looks like on. And oh, this is what it looks like. Uh, I don't love it as much as yesterday's outfit. The shape with this skirt isn't quite as flattering. It's still cute though. So yes, another success I think on Starbucks part. All except for the handbag. <laughs> it's just so bright and bold compared to everything else in this outfit. Boom! Blue! Pan Am. I'm sorry, it does not go with this outfit. But at least it's just the bag. Once I get to work, I'll put that down on my desk and I won't have to walk around with that and I can just have the outfit like this. Walking into work for my last day of the week. And I've already got a compliment on my blue Pan Am bag from my mother-in-law when she picked up Naomi this morning. It's funny, because <laughs> that's like the one part of the outfit that I'm like, eh. she's like, oh, I love it. The other thing I'm noticing already is that this ring is rather uncomfortable on my finger. It's actually part of a rose gold stacking ring set and I've never worn it by itself. It's kind of a non-statement by itself because it's so small and not like not noticeable. Like it goes fine with the outfit. It's just a little bit uncomfortable on my finger because of the, the stones go fair way round. Guess I better say goodbye for now and I'll see you when my work is done. It's a bit chilly tonight. The wind is really blowing. <laughs> Yesterday is still my favorite. Oh goodness, I can't see where I'm going. That's better. I'm really sad though, these shoes are falling apart today. I think maybe I'll get one more wear in before I have to chuck them out. Starbuck did pretty good for the last two days. See you in the recap. And there you have it. That's my week over of letting the Starbuck app pick my outfits. I don't think I could really go too bad when I had 10 options to choose from every day. But there were definitely some that I felt more comfortable in than others. As you know, Thursday was my favorite. I was getting serious Gossip Girl vibes. A mix between Blair for the blazer and the collared shirt and Serena for the sequin skirt. What did you think of the outfits? Which one was your favourite? Let me know in the comments below. I would love to have a discussion with you. Would you let an app pick your outfits after this video? Hmm. Don't think I'll be doing it permanently because it's a little bit stressful because I never know if I'm going to be embarrassed or not. <laughs> but if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you want more. I'll be back before long. I plan to do another letting an app pick my outfits video, but this time for the app Purple. It's going to be even more of a challenge because it only gives you one option instead of 10. There is even greater chance of me being embarrassed. <laughs> 
So that'll be lots of fun for you guys. So make sure you're subscribed and turn on the bell notification so that you're in the know when that one comes out. That's all from me for now. I'll see you guys later. Bye.